Hey everyone, welcome to this Friday, February 25th. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us today. For the reading of Sacred Scripture today, we will read James chapter 5, verses 9 to 12. James chapter 5, 9 to 12. The responsorial psalm is Psalm 103, 103. And the Gospel is from St. Mark chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. Let's start the reading of the Word of God. Beloved, do not grumble against one another, so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Jacob. And you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes, and no, and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. James is teaching us, based in the gospel, to say yes, to tell, to say that yes is a yes and no is a no. In the gospel we hear, may your yes be a yes and your no be a no, and everything else is from the evil one. We need to learn how to be, how to be people, people of yes, like Mary, but a people who's clear in what we say. Yes is a yes. No is a no. We have this tendency of trying to please everyone or not speaking our minds. And not only speaking our minds out, it's not saying what I think. It's saying what is right. To say that yes is a yes and no is a no is, is this speaking truth. It's saying what is right. Speaking and saying what is right, not what is not what is not right what is not true speaking the truth yes is a yes yes for all the commandments yes for the teachings of the church yes for what, what you believe that is right you believe that god is showing you this is a yes and don't be afraid to stand and say yes is a yes yes i believe in that and no for what you know what is wrong don't be afraid to say no to sin, to know the things that you, that you know that is not right. To stand in the teachings of the gospel, in the teachings of our church. May our yes be a yes and our no be a no. So that you may not fall under condemnation. What is this fall under condemnation? It's to be... Uh, yes here and no there. Do not be clear. Do not teach the truth. The psalm today says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all His benefits. It is the Lord who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. What a beautiful line. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. The Lord is ready to, to forgive us. The Lord is ready to show us mercy. But we, we need to stand in truth. To stand and say what is right and what is wrong. Yes and no. And the Gospel from St. Mark Chapter 10, verses 1 to 12 says, Jesus continued his journey and went to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. 
and crowds again gathered around him. And as was his custom, he again, he again taught them. Some Pharisees came, came and to test him they, they asked, It is lawful for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. Jesus said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus is... Jesus keeps teaching his disciples. Jesus continued his journey. It means he continued preaching the good news, preaching the teachings of God. He continued the journey of telling people to stand firm in what is was right, yes, and and to avoid to deny what was wrong. It was a no. So he continued his journey. And our life is a journey. Day after day, moment after moment, we need to continue our journey. To continue what God has entrusted to us, even beyond the Jordan. It means even far away, from far, a far distance, we, could, we need to continue our journey. And as was his custom, he taught them. So beautiful to see that what Jesus came to do here was to teach us, to teach his people. Wasn't to make miracles, was to teach. And here he taught, he explained one of the commandments. He not only simply taught a commandment, but explained, saying, Moses told you what to do. Why are you not doing it? Don't dismiss, don't divorce your wife or your husband. This is adultery. This is a sin. If you commit that, you are in sin. And Jesus is saying, for, do not be doing it just because you feel like. I'm not here going to, to talk about the, some difficulties that some marriage, marriages have. But to say that this idea of, Oh yeah, we are together until we love each other. And afterwards, if we don't want it anymore, we so we will just uh, get a divorce and we'll find someone new. That's wrong. That's not our decision to make. That's why the sacrality of marriage is it's so important and beautiful. Marriage is a sacrament. Marriage is sacred. And in married life, and as in religious life, in the priesthood, but in married life, you who are married need to say yes every single morning. Yes to the, to the state of married life that you chose one day. Yes for this wife and this husband. Yes to share your life with this person. And continue your journey even beyond the Jordan, even beyond what is difficult even beyond what you think that you have no strength at all to do it. But the Lord is there because He also keep, continues His journey teaching His people. May the Lord bless us and may His sacred word keep doing in us this work, keep doing in us this work of salvation, this work of love that His sacred scripture brings to us. Amen.